Like, what? <laughs> ah? Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Hey guys, and welcome back to Bobby's Kombucha Corner. Today we have a very exciting kombucha video. We're gonna do kombucha cocktails. We're gonna have three cocktails today. They're gonna be a mint mojito, Bloody Mary, uh, and a Moscow mule. So if you guys are drinkers out there, you can enjoy your kombucha with some alcohol, or you can make these virgin to make them even healthier. Um, but the kombucha is a good healthiness to balance out the uh, unhealthiness of the alcohol. So let's get drinking. To start, we'll need some plain kombucha that has finished its initial fermentation. If you don't know how to brew a plain batch of kombucha, see my how-to linked here. So first we will make our mint mojito kombucha, which will be the base of our mint mojito kombucha cocktail. So a regular mint mojito has mint, lime, and tonic water. So in the kombucha, we basically put one teaspoon of lime, one tablespoon of mint, and one tablespoon of honey for fermentation. So it will turn carbonated like tonic water. And we'll also need our plain kombucha. Add your mint, lime juice, and honey to a 16 ounce glass jar. I use long neck bottles with flip lids because these help incorporate more carbonation in the drink. Add your kombucha, leaving a couple inches of space below the top, and then close the lid. Next, we will make our Moscow Mule Kombucha, which will be the base of our Moscow Mule Kombucha cocktails. A traditional Moscow Mule has ginger beer, lime, and vodka. A variation called a Kentucky Mule has whiskey instead of vodka. So for the Moscow Mule Kombucha, which will be the mixer in our cocktail, we will add one teaspoon of grated ginger, one teaspoon of lime juice, one tablespoon of honey for fermentation. So it will turn carbonated like the ginger beer and our plain kombucha. First, grate your ginger and add it to the jar. Then add your lime juice. Then top off your bottle with kombucha, leaving one inch of space. Then add your honey and close the lid. Last but not least, we will make our Bloody Mary kombucha, which will be the base of our Bloody Mary cocktail. A traditional Bloody Mary has tomato juice, vodka, and celery for garnish. So in our Bloody Mary inspired kombucha, which will be the base of our Bloody Mary kombucha cocktail, we will add the juice of one celery stalk, which is about one tablespoon, and one tomato juice, which is about one to two tablespoons. So first, juice your celery and add it to a 16 ounce jar. For this one, I am using a mason jar instead of a long neck bottle. Since a Bloody Mary is traditionally not carbonated, and a mason jar does not build up as much carbonation as a long neck bottle. Then remove the seeds from your tomato and juice that as well. Add your kombucha to the bottle and close the lid. Now that you have finished bottling your kombucha, leave the bottles in a warm, dark place of the house for two to four days to ferment. This will allow the flavors to infuse into the drink and for carbonation to build up. Make sure to burp your bottles or open them slightly each day so that excess carbonation does not cause a mess or breakage in the bottles later on. For more information on the second fermentation, see my video here. After about four days, place the bottles in the fridge or enjoy immediately. So it basically tastes like a mint carbonated limeade right now, and it tastes great. Let's add some alcohol to this bad boy. Tastes like a mint mojito. The flavor of the mint and the lime really balance it out well. And you could add additional mint muddled or additional lime to give it a bit more of a kick, but it's good as it is. It's 
Tastes like ginger beer or ginger ale basically. It has a strong ginger flavor and it's fizzy like a ginger ale. That's why it's great in a Moscow or Kentucky Mule because that has ginger ale or ginger beer and this is a great replacement for that. Tastes just like it. Yum. Um, the whiskey and the gingeriness of the kombucha make a good combination. If you want it, you could add a little bit more lime or only just use it as garnish. So this is how the Bloody Mary kombucha looks right out of the fridge, so right after it ferments. It has this really like red growth on top. I think that's the tomato. Looks kind of gross. I'm gonna strain this part. Uh, it'll lose some of its color. I thought the actual liquid would get more color from the tomato, but it doesn't. I'm gonna strain it and then see what it looks like and taste it. Actually, it looks good like that. Looks like champagne almost. So I'm sure you can leave the, the residue in there as well. I just thought the texture might be weird. So this is the Celery tomato kombucha with nothing added, no alcohol yet. It got a little fizzy, which I wasn't expecting because I put it in the mason jar. But I guess the seal was tight enough and there was enough sugar in there to get, make it fizzy. I can definitely taste the tomato and the celery a little bit. And it's not bad. It tastes like, like a cherry tomato. I don't know, it's interesting. I don't hate it. <laughs> it's better than I expected. Complete kombucha Bloody Mary. Let's give it a taste. It's really smooth. This one actually might be my favorite. <laughs> Yeah, you don't need to add the extra tomato juice or tomato juice. Um, I just did that for color, because the color of the tomato kombucha didn't really get to the pink color that I wanted. I like this. It has a good, you know, full flavor, which is what a Bloody Mary is supposed to have. Um, you can add additional garnishes, or I know that some people put spicy, like, tahine or something on the edge or even sometimes inside. You could put Tabasco, you know, you can add your garnishes and extra flourishes if you want. I like this just the way it is, to be honest. It's smooth, it's drinkable, it tastes refreshing. Uh, it's great for any time of the day and cheers. So thanks everybody for watching our kombucha cocktails video. I hope you enjoyed these recipes for these kombucha cocktails. I hope you try some for yourselves. And uh, if you do, let me know which one you like and which one you didn't like. And if you have any other ideas for some good cocktails with kombucha, throw them in the comments. Uh, please subscribe to our channel for more videos and uh, content. And I hope everybody has a good drink. As always, you know, drink responsibly. I hope everybody is staying safe and staying inside and hopefully these cocktails will give you guys something to do and help you guys have some fun inside with these recipes. Bye everybody, cheers.